Okay, today we're going to show you how to assemble your Big Builder Dual Feed 3D printer. And you want to start by lowering down the Z-axis like so. Just rotate it. You might want to wear a glove as it is quite, uh, quite greased up. This is because the brackets are put into their highest position for transit. You just need to lower it down so we can fit the build plate on, which we're doing now. It just fits on like that. And you want to make sure that the angled corner is on the front left. The next thing to add is the spool holders. You get two of these. And you can add one there and one on the other side. There are also holes lower down on both sides. Um, you can print out more spool holders and store more filaments if you really want to. These are the filament guides, there's two of those, so we add those just there towards the back of the printer. And you just clip on. And then you have two tubes that just fit into the top of the print head. And then into the filament guide, and that basically just connects your spool of filament to the print head itself. number two. Make sure it's nice and secure in there. The next thing to do is to plug it in. So find your nearest power supply and, and plug it in like so. Right now let's, let's add the filament. So we'll start with this side and you just want to slowly feed it in. It works best if you if you put the filament onto the spool holder first as you don't want it to get tangled. And then do the exact same on the other one. Just keep feeding it through until it reaches the print head. And there we go they're all in place and you can turn it on and start calibrating it. It's a little sticker just over the screen to protect it and if you run through the wizard on the menu you should be up and running in no time. Thanks for watching. If you like the video then please click to subscribe. For more information on the printers and materials we've used in this video visit dream3d.co.uk